Welcome back to Star Stable with Stacy. Stacy here, of course, standing next to the brand new Lipsoner. Yay, new horse breed. One of them is located here in Fort Pinta. The other two are in New Hillcrest in Epona, which we have some work to do before we can get to Epona, but it will be well worth the reward of getting some of the awesome horses that are only located there. Cannot wait, but I thought we would take a peek today at this lovely fella. He's so animated, just watching him stand here and interact with Raspberry River is adorable. I took so many photos. They bring their heads together sometimes. They're just so animated and I love it. There's so much character. Oh, snuggles. Okay, let's read a little bit about them, okay? The Lippets Honor is considered an elegant horse and is popular thanks to their natural ability to perform extremely difficult riding maneuvers. It is popular with certain schools and for dressage. For instance, the famous Spanish riding school in Vienna uses only Lippets Honor. They're 949 star coins. And they have a special ability. Should we check it out? I think we should check it out. Here she is, you guys. I said she. It just happened. I guess it's a girl. <laughs> Her name is Spell Dancer. I went back and forth with Winter. Vanilla. Vanilla Kiss, I think, was the name that automatically popped up. And I was really tempted to go with it. But I hit random a whole bunch of times. And what was Spell Dancer? I think maybe because Halloween is on the way. I've got my mind on Halloween things. But I think it fits. It feels really pretty and showy. Uh, kind of like the horse themselves. So here she is. Let's take her out for a stroll, shall we? She's gonna need some gear too. Oh, she'll look awesome in some of the Halloween gear this year. Beautiful. All right, full speed ahead. Nice. She looks really, really muscular. Hard stop. Give her a pat, great job. Rearing, and then we can also do the levade. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. We need to do that again. She's so graceful. I knew it. I wanted to pick a, a pretty name, that kind of dancer I thought kind of resembles the movements that they make. And there's our rear again. I love it, so let me know which ones you guys got and what you named them. I love hearing names. Everyone's always so creative. Even with the with us being limited to the name to words given to us, uh, so there's so many different names and so much creativity with what you guys come up with. I love it. Let's do the love aid one more time. That's so cool. It must take a lot of practice and a lot of talent to do that. I think we're gonna head to the mall so we can buy her some beautiful gear. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, look at some of these awesome new saddle pads. That's beautiful. That one's beautiful. It's like wings. It has wings. And the gray, the gray, the blue, and the white. Oh, Nelly. And the blue and the white. I forgot, having a white horse means you can kind of have, you know, anything. It all looks fantastic. Gold sparkles like gold. <gasps> the pink. The pink. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I think we found what we're going to put her in, although the cerulean blue is beautiful. Um... Is this the saddle pad for it? What goes with these? Pink, show me pink things. Ooh, it's this one. It has, no? No, it is this one. Any of them, any of them work. This is my, one of my favorite sets, but I'm saving it because I think it goes best on the flea bitten English thoroughbred. <laughs> There are some pretty cool leg wraps now. Check these out. Oh, maybe we can get a little closer. Those are really cool. This matches the pink and turquoise set I almost got. These are the ones that match our set. And the blue is beautiful as well. 
We've got some autumn clothes available. Wow, look at these. It's been a while since I've been in the mall, apparently. I love these new autumn style clothes. Look how bright that is. The gloves are my favorite, I think. But I am in love with that sweater. That's awesome. And the pants are super cute as well. What have you guys purchased lately? What are your favorite outfits? Do you have any favorite outfits of all time? <gasps> this will match our saddle pad. Ooh, boy. Oh, we are rocking it with our new outfit. New horse and new gear. I'm, it's so exciting to have something that matches. I'm not the best at coordinating, so it's really helpful to be able to go in and find an entire set of tack and an entire set of clothes that match. Very helpful indeed. <laughs> I've returned to Cape West Fishing Village to meet up with our smuggler friends Rob and Bob. Those are words you never expect to hear yourself say, right, my smuggler friends? <laughs> Here they are. I wonder if they'll like my new horse. What do you think of Spell Dancer, you guys? Eating cake, no talk, talk Bob. Okay. Hello, Nova, it ended up well after all. Thank you for saving me from the current shark and the crazy captain. Now I have sat here and had some tea and eaten cake all day. It has been wonderful. But this whole adventure has put us behind schedule. I don't feel ready to start working again, and I don't really think Rob should do it all by himself. Do you have some time to help us with a bit of smuggling work? I, I think so. <laughs> Is it legal smuggling? Oh, wow. World's best dog treats. When I snuck past the riding arena a little while ago, I saw that the dog there, Techno, looked a little depressed. So I've been searching everywhere for the world's best dog treats. In Samar Samarkand? Samarkand? I finally found the world's best dog treat baker, and after a long negotiation, I was able to buy a little bag of treats from him. Take these to Techno and see if they make him a little bit happier. That doesn't sound like a bad activity. The butler at the winery has been looking for a special kind of crystal bottle for storing wine for a long time. After many nights of searching, I managed to find a box of antique crystal bottles stored in an ancient pyramid in Egypt. I hope he likes them. They were not easy to get. No, I would not think so if they were in a pyramid in Egypt. Carney up at the winery has worked a long time to improve his comparison machine, but it has never worked that well. I've comparison machine. I've worked many nights researching comparison science on how to improve his machine and finally found the answer. In a decommissioned military base in Texas, I found these ultra effective light bulbs that never break or wear out. These were not easy to get a hold of. I hope he likes them. Oh, so he's more of a purveyor of rare goods, I would say. But he's very thoughtful. Hey, Techno, how are things going? I have a special treat for you. Woof, woof. Much, much. Techno seems very happy and surprised at how Rob and Bob managed to find the perfect dog treats. Woof, woof. <laughs> I'm glad we got all that from a woof, woof. Aha! Standing here next to Adelaide Wolffield of the Shady Foxes, she also has a new lips on her. She has the dapple gray. Oh, super cool looking. Good day to you, Carney. We have something awesome for you. Ultra effective light bulbs. Oh, I didn't think of that. This is going to make my comparison machine perfect. How in the world could Bob and Rob have known that? This was amazing. I am one of the world's foremost experts on comparison science, but I had never thought that the light bulbs might be the weak link in my machine. How could Bob and Rob possibly have known? Tell Bob I'm really grateful for these light bulbs, Nova. Now I need to install them. See you later. You're very welcome. He seems so happy, and Carney's never that happy. Hello, Godfrey. What? I thought that these bottles were only a story. How in the world did Rob and Bob find these? This is really fantastic, Nova. I don't understand how Rob and Bob managed to find such amazing bottles. I always thought these were just a myth. Ride back to Bob and thank him very much for me. We will. Aww. Ahoy, gentlemen. Everyone is very, very happy with their goods. So Techno liked the dog treats? Carney was happy with the light bulbs. The butler liked the crystal bottles. Very much so. You're very thoughtful, smuggler. Thanks. 
You good. You best. Talk to Bob. <laughs> Nova, big smuggler, thank you is an order. Here's something I smuggled here just for you. At the bottom of an underwater cave off the coast of Japan, I found this in a sunken ship. I thought this would be perfect for you. Thank you for all your all your help. I'm so excited to have a sunken ship top. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> we just bought a new shirt, but I love this top. Yay. It's so cool. Thank you, Robin Bob. Helgen Fort Pinta here has a quest for us. These folks are always up to something weird, so <laughs> we definitely should check in. Guten Tag, Nova. Do you know what has happened? We have bought a summer home here on Jorvik. Fantastic, isn't it? We are so unbelievably happy, even if we haven't even seen it yet. Bought it without seeing it yet. I know you should never do that, but the estate agent was just so nice and friendly, and he promised us that everything would be fine. He bought us coffee and ice cream at the disco, and we knew we could trust him 100%. Do you think you could help us with the last couple of things? Here's the signed contract. We only need to mail it and the deal is done. Can you take it directly to Derek and Silverglade? This is so important. We don't want to trust it in the regular mail. Imagine if it got lost on the way there. Great, come and meet us at our summer cottage later. It's up in the hollow woods. The hollow woods? That's where the burned down house is. Are they going to the burned down cottage? Of Wiedersenen. Off, off, wide, wider sahen, wider sahen. Ah, help, help with the German, you guys. I don't know German very well. Off, wider sahen, sahen, sahen. I'm gonna look this up. Be right back. Okay, not only have I never seen Auf Wiedersehen typed out before, but in America we say it very, very wrong, I feel like. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, it means goodbye. I'm pretty sure most of the time we we say it improperly and it comes out with L's and stuff. Alvida Saint, Alvida Saint. We say it way wrong. Anyway, I looked up how to say it properly, so I will practice. And now I know how it's. I always thought there was a V. <sighs> Language. It's amazing, but tricky. Alvida Saint. Alvida Saint. Alvida Saint. Alvida Saint. I'll feed their saying. I'll, feed. I'll get it. Derek, we have a very important piece of mail that needs to be sent right away. It has to do with a summer cottage. Hello, Nova. A contract to be sent? No problem. So Gunther and Helga have bought the cottage in the Hollow Woods. Are you sure it was there? The only cottage I know there is the burnt down cottage that the mayor owned. I know that's what I was saying. You're going to meet them in the Hollow Woods? You aren't sure where? Check at the burnt down cottage first. First, and if you're lucky, you'll find them there. Or, lucky for you, bad for them. I know, I don't know where else they would be, maybe. Oh no, it's called a renovation project. <laughs> okay, I'm here at the abandoned summer home. Ooh, there they are. I wonder if this is uh, what they expected. Nine! What is this here, Nova? This is a ruin, not at all like the real estate agent described it. Oh no, what are we going to do? We have been completely fooled, Nova. What should we do? Find the agent? How? I'm sure he's long gone by now. What did he look like? Well, very nice in a suit and everything. Mr. Kemble was his name. Uh-oh. Have you met him before? A real crook, you say? Oh, Nova, we are never going to get our money back. You're going to find him? Oh, thank you, Nova. Looking for Pinta. Maybe you could find some clues as to where he is there? Oh no. Hey, it's a nice property. If they want to rebuild the house, it'll look awesome. I hope they didn't pay too much. But, oh man, that's a bummer. Oh, we're going to check in with the security guard and see if he's seen anything. Mr. Kemble, never heard of him. What did he look like? He has a big smile and no neck. Slimy, dressed in a suit with an evil grin. Aha, Mr. Kettle. He was nice. He told me... He had been a general before, but now he was working as a real estate agent. He wondered if I would be interested in an old army bunker. I've checked with the bank and I could get the money I need. I thought I would sign a contract with him the next time we met, but I haven't seen him for a while. Imagine, Nova, my own bunker. 
What? A con artist? Not a general? That was... How is it possible to, to fool me? Are you sure? Oh, what a traitor. Are you going to catch him? He was sitting in there by the DJ booth and worked with his papers. Look there for clues. And you, if you find him, let him know that he is not welcome in this disco for as long as I work here. I'm glad we stopped you in time before you gave him money. Oh, we cannot bring our, our horse in. I plum forgot. Just so excited to be a spell dancer. Oh. Those are fun chairs. A clue. What was the clue? Did we get something in our bag? A business card. Mr. Kemble, Jorvik's best real estate agent. You can trust in me. Office address south of Furgrove Village in the woods. South of Fergrode Village in the woods. Okay. Off to Fergrove. I was wrong. We needed to come speak to Helga, not go searching in Fergrove. So, spent a little time doing that, and it was pointless. I was supposed to be back here talking to Helga. He wasn't there. Typical. A business card. Let me have a look. Let me see. Look, Nova, there's a map on the back of this card. Somewhere south of Fergrove, it says. You should look at it yourself and see if you can figure out where he lives. Please, Nova, can you find Mr. Kemble and ask if we could take back the sale? That was the last of our savings. And he can't be so evil that he'd steal everything we have. I think you're underestimating Mr. Kemble. Meet us at the councilman in Fergrove when you have met Mr. Kemble. We're going to the councilman to see if he can help. That's actually a good idea, and now I have to go back to Fergrove, I guess. Uh, I don't see a map. Is it marked on our map? No? Tell the Fergrove village in the woods. Oh, look at this billboard. We must be close. It says, Mr. Kemble, trust me with little kittens. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a little house back here and everything. Great place to hide out, Mr. Kemble. <laughs> the little kids. There he is! <gasps> Are those dogs? Big, mean-looking dogs. Oh, good day. Welcome to Mr. Kemble's estate agency. Best service in Jorvik. Can I perhaps interest you in a fantastic cottage in Hollow Woods? Wait a minute! I remember you, Nova. Oh, what are you doing here? Go away! Yeah, the contract is signed and everything is perfectly legal. There is nothing you can do about it this time. All their savings? <laughs> Serves them right, stupid tourists. You're going to speak with the councilman in Fergrove? Good luck! Another thing, when you meet him, let him know that I am here to stay. Get out of here now before I put the dogs on you. Never come back. Do you hear me? Oh, no. They're probably, they would probably be such nice dogs, too, if he wasn't so mean to them. Here's the Fergrove Councilman, Mr. Franklin. Mr. Kemble, what an awful man. He completely fooled us when he rented the cottage in the woods outside our village. He said that he was going to start a home for homeless dogs, but instead he put a barbed wire all the way around the property and brought the most awful, angry dogs I've ever seen. How awful. He also fooled those nice people, Gunther and Helga. Oh, believe me, Nova, there is nothing we can do. He is very clever, that Mr. Kemble. It is very sad to hear that he has fooled Gunther and Helga. They're such nice people, and all of Fergrove could use a ray of sunshine like Gretchen to brighten up the place. I am sorry, Gunther and Helga. If we can't find evidence that he has done something illegal, there is nothing we can do. Oh, no. Uh, so we might not get any of our money back? Nova, can you keep a secret? You promise? Good. Gunther, we can trust Nova, right? It is time for her to find out who we really are. Who we really are? Nova, speak with my husband. Our secret. There is nobody who knows. Shh. I love secrets. Good. Nobody can hear us. Come closer, Nova, so I can tell you. We are here as tourists, but that isn't everything we are. Back home in Germany, well... We're spies. Oh, we're spies. Nobody can know about it except us and all of you. 
Listen, we really want to remain incognito here on vacation and get away from smuggling codes, disarming bombs, or going to exclusive balls with the president and getting attacked by ninjas. Sometimes we just want to sit on a log and smell the grass, do you understand? You can't tell anyone about this. It is so calm and nice here in New York. so why'd you almost set the woods on fire and do all these other weird things? Those aren't spy things. Weird. We're going to have to take a break from our vacation. We'll need to use some of our spy techniques to get to the bottom of this little problem with that slime ball, Mr. Kemble. If you could find any good hiding places beside his cottage, Helga and I will spy on him and see if we could find any traces of illegal activity. Meet us at the start of the road to Mr. Kemble's cottage later. Good luck. Oh, what do we have here? A good spot to hide? One good spot to hide. Okay, we need three. Aha, I see them. Although, I bet the dogs would know we were there. <laughs> I hope they don't start barking and give away our location. Hello, spies! I mean, tourists. Hello, Nova. Have you found any hiding places that you think will work? Great. Agent Y9 and Agent B2, also known as Helga and Gretchen. Nova, I am Agent B1. Agent Y9, Agent B2, are you ready for a little nighttime spy work? Good. We'll see you tomorrow, Nova. We'll begin surveillance on Mr. Kemble as soon as it gets dark enough. Oh, I'm so excited to see what they find out. This is awesome. Hopefully they can help take down Mr. Kemble for good. Well, signing off for today next to this very <sighs> creepy billboard of Mr. Kemble. I'm very excited to see what they find out about him. And I know what you're all going to say. We're so close to unlocking Epona. Yay! I'm so excited. We're almost there. We're almost there. And I've never seen it. And I'm thrilled. I cannot wait. So thank you all for tuning in and joining me on this quest. And stay tuned for next time. I don't know how close we are, but we're close. I know it's coming. It's coming. The opponent is coming. And I hope you love the new horses. Again, tell me which ones you uh, purchased. One or ones. I know some of you like to buy the whole set when a new horse comes out. What gear you put it in and what you named them. Yay! Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to Star Staples' YouTube channel. Bye.